Feels like a Bernie Sanders crowd to me. I think it's gonna be gonna be <laughs> Hillary though. Um, on the GOP side, I'm trying to predict like not Trump, although I'm more and more worried about that. But if you had to pick one, I think um, Rubio fits the profile of a traditional nominee. Maybe the GOP is broken enough that they will have a a Trump or a or a Cruz or a Carson. Um, but in the establishment lane, Rubio I think has lapped Bush and everyone else and looks pretty good. As a Democrat, would I want the most insane person? Like, would I want Trump to possibly be the person? Or would I want someone? Of course you would want yeah. Trump, yeah. I mean, How long can I hold on to that dream? Um, I mean, I think it's going to take a while, right? Like, I think Rubio um, might win, but I don't think it'll be like, oh, everyone falls in line all of a sudden. Um, I think it'll have drama for, for months and months. And I try and talk to myself, too, about, like, um, we're kind of on record as being skeptical of Trump's candidacy, but like any general election in which Donald Trump is involved would be like the best news story in the history of politics, basically. So you kind of hedge your bets a little bit that way. Um, so before you go, I want to give you a magic Nate ball. I'm sure that 538 is going to be coming out with their own uh, 538 balls, but you do such a good job of forecasting that I hope you can uh, start selling your merch. And I will only need lunch or dinner. That's fine. Um, and an abacus for when you're really oh, struggling to get things out. Nate Silver, it is such a dream and pleasure to have you here. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah.